Check those out. I think those look sharp. Now, you saw the finished uh, show side. The door side I have got framed out, and you saw that, I think, in the last episode or somewhere thereabout. Uh, I did not put the rail on it yet, so you can see where the rail is on the, not the door side. The door side, I still have to run that rail. But uh, the reason I didn't do that, well, let me show you something first. Look at this. This is the part you don't always get to see. <laughs> There's the two sides. That's the, uh, that's the door side right there. That's the not the door side. That's got to go to the dump. They can't just hang around at world headquarters all the time. So that's how I do it. Parts and pieces, a little bit at a time. I just wanted to share that little kind of fun little tidbit with you. Uh, we're back here inside world headquarters where it's starting to warm up a little bit. I've actually got the uh, shop doors open. But what we're going to work on today is the floor. I've got to remove the floor, and uh, I want to show you some things about this that are different than on previous builds that we've done. And so, if it was just like a Scotty, I wouldn't, you know, I would just gloss over it. But there's a few things on this one that I want to show you. Hey, if you're getting any kind of value out of uh, any of these videos, I think you're going to like this one. But anyway, uh, if you'd hit the bell, like and subscribe. I put those in a different order just to mess with Russ. So, uh, like and subscribe, hit the bell, leave me a comment. I need something to do besides build campers. Anyway, what I wanted to show you was how the uh, wheel wells are on, held on in place. And I also want to show you how the walls were held in place. Just a little bit different. Let's check that out. What I wanted to show you, a couple of things. Obviously, this is just a big flat floor, just kind of like Tracy's uh, JS15 Scotty that we did. Going to be real similar to that. Uh, what is a little bit different, as you remember probably on most of our builds, that the floor comes all the way out to this outrigger. Yeah, there's going to be probably four or five of those that go down the length of the trailer. And it'll sit on there, and then this bolt holds the floor on, and then you screw the plywood into the side right here. Everybody's happy. Well, on this one, that rail that we built, even after we put the uh, wall on the inside, the paneling, it just goes right up against here. And so it comes out to the very edge because it's an inch and a quarter, and I'll bet if I measured that, that's an inch and a quarter. So it gets its own, the wall gets its own carriage bolt. The floor, carriage bolt. Wall, carriage bolt. I don't know, is that more stable? I don't know. Maybe the king people thought so, so we're going to go back exactly like that instead of setting it on top, which some people do. We're going to go back the way it was at the factory. So that's just one thing that's a little bit different. Now, apparently... Uh, they ran out of flooring, so they just stopped it right there, I guess. That's what it looks like. You can kind of see. It looked like it was kind of a, I don't know. I kind of cleaned that up the best I could. That's some kind of crazy pattern on that. Whatever this was, it's dead. Now, when I pulled off the wheel well, we've got brakes. Big brakes. Jim's going to work on those. Jim likes brakes. He likes big brakes and he cannot lie. Myself, not, not so much into the brakes. But anyway, Dick, look at how many nails right here. Look at these nails. It was that many nails, at least they weren't the devil's nails, they're good upstanding nails citizens, that were holding in just this one wheel well. It's got a nice shape to it though, doesn't it? Kind of puts you in mind of a Scotty a little bit. I like it. I like it. Anyway. Uh, so that had this lift built into it so that you know exactly how far it's going to go down right here because it has to sit on this lip. It has that lip right here on the back as well. So it's going to sit right on level and you know where it's going to go. So you don't have to measure it. You don't even have to guess. 
exactly where it's going to go. So I like that. I like that. And there were just some nails. You can probably see that nail hole right there. Just a couple nails on the inside as well. So that was secure. It was probably, I mean, it was just a carriage bolt short of being the most secure part of this whole thing. Now remember, there is no floor here. This is where that curve starts in the back. And it comes out, remember, 18 inches and curves up and around. So there's no floor right here. That's where it stops, and that's how it came from the factory. One more thing that I've got to do is uh, Jim wants to replace this jack. There's some pieces missing. I, if, I, don't, I don't think the tube is in there anymore. It's a nice, neat old piece, but uh, I think he wants to uh, grind that out and replace it. And he's been threatening to change this. He's all about safety, and you should be. I am too. But man, when you come across one of these, I just love those so much. But, you know, he's going to look at it today, and if he's got to take all this off, he's going to take it all off and replace it. But I was kind of messing around in here, and this isn't like a regular uh, kind of uh, hitch this part because it pushes in this way and it does it feels tight to me so i'm hopeful that when he gets here uh he's gonna like it and uh i'm gonna call him and tell him that he needs to come and take a look at that and i'm gonna see if i can't get some free labor out of him and help me lift this uh, floor off got the floor torn down torn apart as you saw Jim ended up helping me got some of that free labor and uh, I've got it to where I have access to all of my measurements my first measurement was from that end right there to this end and it's 75 inches so I'm gonna cut my plywood first before I start cutting my beams, my floor joists, if you will. And I've gotta make this piece of plywood 75 inches long. But what I wanna do a little something different today uh, and show you, give you kind of a tool review. If you guys haven't seen one of these deals, uh, you're gonna buy one, I'm telling you right now. Let me get started on it. So as I said, I need 75 inches, so I'm gonna go to one end and make my mark at 75 right here. That's 75. Come over here to the other side and make one 75. Now normally what we would do is get a straight edge, push it across here, make my mark, and then take my saw and follow that line that never turns out straight for me. But I found this little deal right here that you put here, you clamp it down, and then you run your saw against it. But from, from this blade to this edge is one and an eighth. So I've got to take this down one and an eighth. So I've got to go back to 73 and 7 eighths. So I'm going to remark this at 73 and 7 eighths, which will equal 75 when I cut it with that extra inch and an eighth. So 73, whoa, get on there. 73 and 7 eighths. So I take this and I put this thicker edge right on that 73. It's seven eighths. You know, and you're thinking, well, what if you want to do, uh, instead of just these four feet right here, what if you had to do eight feet 
Ta-da! It has those little deals on there that you just slide it into this one, and you can go the whole length. It's a little over eight feet. So let me get this side on right here. So I'm at 73, 7 eighths, knowing that I've got on my saw one and an eighth to the blade. So I'm gonna cut this real quick and you see how smooth this goes. I'm gonna have to work left-handed. Well, let me get a better battery and move that out of the way. That could have been ugly. Let me get this better battery right here real quick. Look at that guy. That's gonna be plenty of power for us. I'll get him back on here. There we go. Just like that. Now, let me pull this off just real quick. I don't wanna waste a whole bunch of your time, but I think this is kind of exciting. I mean, if you're into tools like I am, so look at look at how smooth that is. Look at that. That is a straight line, no questions asked. I don't even know what these things are called. Obviously, they're not paying me anything. I just wanted you to know. I got these at the big box uh, store, you know, home uh, whatever, and uh, that's what they look like. I think they were only like 20, 25 bucks. All right, I'm gonna do this three more times. I'm going to go ahead and cut out my wheel well openings. So I started at the front, came back to this first opening, and it was right at 70. Came to the next opening, 105 and a half. So I know that I've got 70, 105 and a half. But I've only got a 48 inch piece of plywood to work with because in front of this will be the other 48 that I don't have to cut. See, that's just a whole slice right there. So if I take 70 minus 48, we make that a six, carry the one to a 10, two, two. So my first cut on this piece of plywood needs to be at 22 inches to make it an even 70. And we're not gonna be able to get to 105 because 48 and 48 is only 96. So we're gonna have to get the next piece and we're gonna have to because we're gonna get to, well, there's 96. We're gonna get to about right here. And then all the way back to, sorry for the terrible camera work, I'm by myself today. So to get back to here, we're gonna, it's only like 43 inches instead of 48. So we're working with 48, 48, and about 43, it's 11 feet something. Um, and we'll, we'll get to that measurement here soon. So, We'll cut this 105 and a half out of this 43 right here. I have marked out my opening. They're 13 and a half deep. So I've cut this line and then we're 22 from the top. Made that line. Oh, here's a pro tip for you. See this? That's damage. You don't want that on your floor but I knew I was gonna be cutting out a wheel well. So when I bought this, I always go to the same place, generally, and I usually have the same checkout person. It's a really nice lady. And when I go up there, I put this one on top and I say, hey, this is damaged. I can still use it if you wanna give me the discount. And she'll normally give me 15, 20% off this piece of plywood that I wasn't gonna use anyway. So keep that in the back of your mind. If you know you're gonna cut it off, Go ahead and uh, ask for the discount. All I can say is no, you're gonna use it anyway. So I'm gonna cut this out real quick.
I'm gonna go left handed again. Nah, maybe not. We're gonna clean this up right here because that's a circular blade, so it doesn't go all the way unless you're going to end up damaging the floor on top because this is the bottom. There we go. And that's what is going to be our wheel well opening on this side with a pro tip 15% off. Well, I want to clear up some miscommunication. It's a fancy way of saying I made some mistakes and told you wrong. From here down to here is indeed 70. But then I took my measurement from back here at 105. Well, duh, that's not your wheel well opening. This is right here. So we had to go to 104. So I made that adjustment right here. There's our original first one. Then I took eight more inches off of that. If I hadn't went and remeasured and checked, I would have been an inch off and that would have been embarrassing. So this actually is 144 inches stem to stern. So this is complete three sheets of plywood. This one just kind of came down here and I kind of overlooked it because it has this add-on. And see, if you notice, it doesn't, it doesn't sit right in there, does it? Well, that's because that's where you're going to nail in your tin coming up the back. This is on the rear end of it. So you're gonna nail that tin in right there and it needs a little bit of space to do that. So that's what that space is in there for. Now we're gonna to get to building these. These are, this is a very, very simple. I might just do a time lapse or something because like on a Scotty, you'll notice the difference with a Scotty is that it sits down inside the frame. This sits right on top of the frame. These do not sit inside the frame at all. So the only thing I really gotta be careful to measure correctly is where the uh, carriage bolts, like this one I cut off. The carriage bolts, we gotta make sure that wherever those go, there's something there for them. Cause that's what's gonna hold our trailer down. We don't want it flying off down the highway. We've all seen that video. So I'm just gonna measure these out. I'm gonna cut down my two by fours to inch and a quarter by inch and a quarter, we're gonna go to work. Just like that, we have the beautiful floor for the 1954 King. Isn't that beautiful? I love it. 